Alright guys, I've got the Y-axis ball nut mount in the vise here. This will be the first job on the new 440V vise. Uh, I had already machined this for an earlier project and I never used it. Uh, so I just cut it down and I'm going to repurpose it for the linear rail conversion. I've redrawn it in Fusion 360 and remodeled it so uh, my files will be updated but no sense in wasting this part. So all we're going to be doing is we're going to be machining uh, the top here down a little bit and creating a, a stud basically. And so it's going to look something like that. Some adaptive, we're going to do some drilling, uh, some thread milling, and some adaptive. So let's get going.
let's take a look. Alright, so what happens is this will sit up inside the uh, saddle and it will be bolted from the top. And that should secure the Y-axis to the saddle. Alright, so I'm going to take some measurements and if everything looks good, we'll take it off and uh, see how she looks. Alright guys, so I've got it out of the machine here and I'm just checking it on the actual saddle. So this will fit in like so. This is uh, threaded for an M6. Yeah, an M6 here. And uh, so it's just going to go in like this. It's a real nice fit. And then it'll get. Sorry, this is heavy. Okay. See how it goes in there. And then, of course, the ball nut will be mounted this way. Uh, this is the side toward the column here. And then we'll just run a bolt through. Run a bolt through the center here, and bolt it down. Alright guys, uh, so it's been a hectic week, uh, it's been a hectic month actually, um, I've got a lot of things going on, uh, my daughter is a senior this year in high school, uh, we're doing college visitations, and we've got graduation coming and COVID and school plays and it's just been really crazy. Um, so I haven't really had a lot of time to do a lot of videos. I'm just kind of crazy right now. Um, but hopefully we'll get this assembled, uh, kind of stuck together, mocked up in the next video. And then we're going to start on the, before we bolt the saddle down, we're going to start on the x-axis. We'll be machining the bearing block, the floating ends, and the ball nut mount for the x-axis. So guys, stay tuned for that video. Guys, thanks for watching the videos. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please subscribe down here in the bottom right hand corner. When uh, I post a new video, they'll send you a link and if it's something you're interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thanks for watching and most importantly, be safe.